Oh, ladies and gentlemen, guys and gals, lads and lassies, I hope everybody's having a great day. It is, uh, what, March 31st, 2020, and we have a new hot contender on Coin Market Cap. If you did not see the title of the video or live stream, just give that a gander. Um, we'll be talking about that here in a second. But I just want to give a big shout out to the early birds of the live chat. And if you're not watching this live, by the way, we come live Monday through Thursday, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we'd love for you to join. I try to engage with the live chat as much as possible. Uh, and what's up, Cardinal, The Dude, Juan Chan Sanchez, Foo Fighter, Nefarious Technology, Respect, uh, Xavier, Disco Biscuits, Mining for Mine, uh, Ace24, uh, anybody else? Just Mike, welcome, welcome, Mr. Roberts, Phantom Spaceman, High Tech, uh, da, 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 Planet Lolo, Alex Gillian, and the Deadwood 11. Welcome to the live chat. Y'all are, y'all are awesome. Always uh, lots of regulars out here tonight. Um, yeah, well, anyway, boom. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Okay, oh, also, thank you to the members. Uh, these are the people that have joined and um, have pledged uh, a membership every month to the, the YouTube. There's a join button down below if you'd like to. But Yashnik, Frankie Two Times, Crypto Mining Tools, Savage Mine, Red Panda Mining, and Just Mike, all a part of the Miners Club. And then the Legends uh, are Done One Too Many, Lightbulb, and Batman. Always going to be Legends. So... Much appreciated, guys. Let me jump on over here and... Oh, what's up, Crypto Mikkel? This uh, journalism. I'm new, but looking to become regular brother. Loving the content. Well, Juan Sanchez, I hope I'm saying your name right. Um, I'm glad you can make it, and I hope you can come more often. But uh, yes, today it, we're, it's a little laid back. Obviously, we're still on quarantine, all that kind of stuff. But uh, I was I was looking at this and I just had to I was dying laughing earlier. So um, let me. If you look, the price graph is like a butt. You see that? It's like a butt and cheeks. Let me let me zoom in and and go over, so you guys can check this out in all its glory. Where'd we go? Where'd it go? Ah, oh, right. My face is in the way. Well, anyway, it's right here. See it? Butt and cheeks. Yeah. Toilet paper token. So, if you check it out, circulating supply out of stock because toilet paper is gone. Nobody's got it. Um, zoom in on the butt. Trust nothing on the internet. Hashtag April Fools. Ladies and gentlemen, you can't buy it. She's out of stock. It's on fire. See that? Fire token. It's up 1,123.97%. Toilet paper token. If we click on it, we'll get a little bit more inside or insight on what's going on. The toilet paper token wipe paper. I <laughs> get it. Wipe paper. Um, an introduction to toilet paper. The evolution of modern day toilet paper. B B B B B R R R R R B B B P P P P T T T T. Come on, speaker roll. T P C is Butman. <laughs> what is up nefarious technology thank you for the ten dollar or fifteen dollars wow thank you very much man and um yeah brr, 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 come on speaker roll yeah you got the push to talk work in there all right well let's get back to our article thank you though much appreciated there uh nefarious and you popped up on this one last time for some reason it didn't it didn't put you on the recent donations but we got you now so an introduction to toilet paper. The evolution of modern day toilet paper has come a long way. Before the invention of the soft double, even triple ply squares, human civilizations used a wide range of objects that could be sharp and even dangerous to the human anatomy. Throughout the years, humans used rocks, corn cobs, and pieces of wood, while softer man-made solutions like communal sponges were used by the ancient Romans. The wealthy preferred fabrics like wool or lace that posed less of a threat to the body's vulnerable parts. The modern day concept of toilet paper was conceived in China in the 6th century and when paper became mass produced, newspapers then became widely distributed 
and were reused as toilet paper. Commercial toilet paper made a splash in the scene in 1857, marketed as a medical product that prevented hemorrhoids. They were priced at a modern equivalent of $12, or $12 for 500 sheets. So, like, you know, a good roll of toilet paper would be 12 bucks. That, that's pretty high. Um, yeah. Although modern industrialization has been able to successfully produce toilet paper for decades, the alarms sounded by the human malware pandemic have made toilet paper a commodity of extremely high demand. So high, in fact, that it was out of stock in stores worldwide and caused societal unrest among customers. In November 2019, toilet paper consumption was at about 10 billion rolls per month worldwide, with an average of two rolls purchased per month for personal use. Due to human malware, rates have increased by one roll per person on average monthly, with quarantine and stay-at-home notices by the government that subsequently have forced citizens to purchase more toilet paper for home use. By late February 2020, roll usage skyrocketed to 15 billion rolls globally. What's up, live chat? There's all kind of funny stuff in there. Savage Mind, welcome to the live stream there, brother. Beautiful message for all to share. Thank you. No problem, Disco Biscuits. I'm just spreading the word. Brandon Coin, Super Chat doesn't show because your Streamlabs isn't linked. Huh. Okay. I thought it was linked. Um, well, S Scott offered. Uh, he donated through S Streamlabs, and it showed his name. I'll double check it there, Nefarious. Savage Mind, hey, Deadwood11, this is funny, how are you? Good stuff. They better not be using the TP for their nose. We got Kleenex for that and TP for the bum bum for sure. Definitely. Okay, let's let's go onwards a little bit. Check out this white paper. So if we can look at this graph right here, toilet paper use is on this, and then time is right here. Obviously, we were here, and then now we're, we're somewhere up here, and... Um, it, it's showing a, a pretty solid bull run, so it's it's to be expected that we're gonna have to um, it's we're gonna have to expect a pullback here. Uh, supply is gonna catch up with demand, and um, the price will correct. We will we are due for a price correction. Um, bullish on the TP, hundred percent. Deadwood eleven, right there. By the way, this is not financial advice. Don't go um, buy due to mine. Uh, Juan Sanchez, how's the solar panel rig coming along? Did you get better output today? Juan Sanchez, we're gonna we're gonna talk about that after we get through our white paper here. Um, I, I'm keeping up with it day by day, but I, I do have to say it rained today, so it's not looking good. We did not produce much electricity. Careful, it looks like it's going to wipe. Alright, so now why tokenize toilet paper as a digital asset? Toilet paper toilet paper token three utilities tpt utilizes <laughs> utilizes smut contracts to keep track of the total number of roles that users hereafter referred to as wipers not users have purchased and also maintains a record of how many roles you are guaranteed with tpt users can purchase toilet paper online to avoid increased exposure to human malware and take advantage of the ply count algorithm that that calculates how much toilet paper each household is entitled to receive. Sounds pretty good. The implication of this system is no more hoarding of grocery store fights for the last set of rolls. Should stores run out of stock, TPT holders will be the first customers to be notified of restocking the preferred customers to receive supplies. Holding TPT ensures wiper integrity and fair distribution of toilet paper worldwide, which ultimately contributes to TPT's mission, saving humanity from regressing downwards to the first two levels of Maslow's needed needs hierarchy. Our dignified role is to maintain our position at rare field spot at the third level where love and belonging abounds. All right, so we got it. We got another chart here. We'll check this out. Uh, poo algorithm, you sold me. Hey guys, toilet paper token giveaway right after Brandon. Tune in, crypto giver. Hmm, I thought it was out of stock. I like the shape they're using. Okay, so 
self-actualization, actualization is at the top, desire to become the most that one can be, then esteem, then love and belonging, safety and needs, and then psychological needs. So this looks like there's some stuff going on there. I don't know. That's a pyramid. We're going to keep going. TPT air plop. In order to buy TPT, interested wipers must register and take the ply count quiz, which will determine the amount of TPT they are entitled to purchase through the use of the ply count algorithm. The quiz questions will range from the number of members of your household to the existence of pre existing gastrointestinal issues. So, okay, yeah, if, if you have uh, pre existing issues, you may be entitled to more TPT. This sounds like a, dag a daggone TV commercial now. Once you get your allocation of TPT, you can redeem the tokens for toilet paper. When you have used all your tokens, our patented ply count algorithm will allocate the amount of tokens you are able to purchase to restock. Hmm, this is, this is getting deep, guys. This is getting real deep. Ah, the dude, where can I get a wallet or a holder slash stand? Ah, that'd be good. Yeah, I need a... Oh, um, a stand from a TPT. So TPT initial scattering offering offering token. One TPT is a dollar sixty four. I have no idea. I'm I'm assuming this is a hundred percent like just made up. But market crap, not market cap. Um, what is that? Eighty five billion five hundred eighty three million. Total supply is eight billion. Scattering supply dynamically issued in response to changing levels of demand out of stock, and the volumes forty one billion. Is that yeah, 41 billion. So the toilet paper token will go on sale April 1st, 2020. Of course it will. Of course it will. On Shiitake Exchange, all wipers must take the ply count quiz, which which mathematically determines the correct number of TPT that wipers can purchase on a monthly basis. All right, guys. I, you know what? I'm sold. I want some TPT. Uh, Y'all going to be ready for it. There's so much time invested. Nefarious technology, you know, there's there are le there are coins out there that are trying to be legitimate that have spent less time than the time that got put into this one. So I, you know, I I'm I'm making sure to uh, appreciate what's going on here because these guys really did a number. I I I like it 100%. So the corn census algorithm. <laughs> Oh my goodness. TP from Bunghole. What's up, Dennis? Disco Biscuits got them. They took some time and thought to make this. Yes, they did, Mr. John. Good evening, all. So, the toilet paper token leverages multi blockchains to buttress its, buttress its data fidelity. Our know your colon. Oh, <laughs> no way! KYC know your colon process works with our bog standard proof of wipe chain, facilitating each user's KYC check that they are able to wipe by themselves. As users that don't fall into this category are uncapable, to, unca unable to participate in the token sale. Our research has shown that the early age entry is three years old. Good stuff here. The KYC will also entail the installation of in, intravelinous, intravel, in, intravelinous, intravelinous. Hold on. Pause everything that's going on now. We're going over to Brandon's grammar corner. Intravelinous. Is that what that is? Intravenous. Intravenous. I am a dummy. Existing or taking place within or administered into veins veins. Okay, so KYC will also entail the installation of an intravenous IOT plug in as a suppository to monitor the fiber content in one's stomach Which will then feed data into the TPT smut contract to ensure tokens are minted dynamically according to the needs of the general populace um, Let's see live chat Caps on purpose. TPT to the moon. This is kind of crappy. I hope it's a clean ending. <laughs> this is golden. Someone has way too much time. Yeah, there's, there's there's a team on this, apparently. TPT's proof of ply blockchain will ensure the immutability of the ply count of the toilet paper rolls that have been purchased with toilet paper tokens. The proof of ply blockchain is connected to the patented ply count algorithm, recording how many tokens have used 
and the and thus how many rolls you have left we already knew about that earlier uh, proof of flush keeps track of how many toilet paper rolls each TPT wiper has used in order to prevent going over the allotted quota this will be functionality functionally similar to how some projects burn or destroy tokens your right to wipe has now been tokenized so meet the team we got Mary Ploppins the founder Mary Ploppins used to ply her trade in, in paper towel industry before she discovered the possibilities of working directly in toilet paper. With a master's degree in textile design, she utilized her creative background and experience in paper products to come up with a unique solution to toilet paper crisis that rocked the world during, during the human malware pandemic. Peter P. Up, a uh, Rick Roller. Peter Piup comes to TPT after toiling his trade as an account manager and su uh, support representative for several years at an ecologically friendly composting startup. Eager to enter the crypto field, Piup, is that how you say that? P P U U P also worked in traditional finance as a custodian bank in the 2000s. He now spends most of his days Rick rolling unsuspecting victims. Got to gotta get Rick rolled. What's, what's up? Uh, the dude, how can you be dumb if you actually fact yourself? Uh, I don't know. I, I, I'm i just, just messing with myself. I give myself a hard time. I fact check myself. Yeah, I try to. Toilet paper roll, gas mask. Yeah, I, oh, that's pretty good. All right, and then John Splashington, the back-end engineer. John Splashington got his start in toilet paper from a young age, pioneering the innovative idea to have the toilet roll face out instead of in making it easier to grab onto he's also known for being a real hardliner if he catches someone not replacing the toilet roll and just leaving an almost empty roll with a little bit of toilet paper hanging on that's useless for the next person who needs to go okay so it's good stuff we're going to be watching this and uh we're, we're going to come back and see what happens tomorrow during the launch so I hope everybody is ready for uh, TPT because look at this, guys. L let me get a fresh refresh on this. Look at that. It's just, it's holding this 1,000%. Uh, yeah, it's going to be good. Brandon Coin, when is TPT giveaway? Uh, I, don't, I don't have a TPT giveaway, but they're launching tomorrow, April 1st. You know what that means? We're going to be there. Uh, this is the new Dogecoin. TPT token is mooning 100%. All right, guys, let's get back to a little bit of a little bit of reality. That was pretty fun, though. Um, this is what the graphics cards I have are doing. Obviously, everything's kind of down. Some stuff stayed the same. Not great, but that's due to the fact that like the market is kind of down. We have a $6,322 Bitcoin, $132 Ethereum, $0.17 cents, uh, Ripple or XRP. Bitcoin Cash at $216.29. I'm sorry, my phone is going off here. Let me turn that down. Litecoin is at $38.80. Uh, notifications. There we go. Binance Coin, $12.39. Tezos, $1.58. Everything is well within either that, you know, plus or minus a couple percent. Cardano, uh, three cents. What in the world? Do I have another window open? Let me close that out. Okay. Hope everyone here applied for small business free money today that has a business. Nefarious technology. Uh, I didn't look into that. Can't stop looking at the price graph on TPT. Ah, you like that, don't you? Getting one gigabyte download speeds Monday. Very nice, Colin. Where's uh, crazy? He loves them Tezos. I don't know where he's at today, but anyway, market's looking. Eh, it ain't bad, but it ain't good. So yeah, that's that's pretty much the gist for today. Ethereum Classic four dollars eighty three cents. Let's check on Ravencoin. Where you at Ravencoin? Ca -ca 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 Ravencoin. There we go. One point four nine cents. So almost a penny and a half. Almost. Now, um, yeah, the graphics cards. Notable mentions. Radeon seven holding out that ninety cents a day. RTX 2070, 43 cents a day. 2060 Super, 36 cents a day. 
1080, 39 cents. 1070 Ti, 34 cents. Not great. Now, if we go over to the solar setup, let me see. Can I blow this up a little bit bigger for you guys? Can y'all still see that? Hold on, let me. I'm checking my uh, stream here. Oh, it's looking like it's cutting off some of the stuff here. What about that? Does that help? Tighten it up a little bit. There we go. Okay. So, um, yesterday we generated 310 watts. Uh, I was not happy with the, uh, the solar generation. And some people were like, hey, when you have a solar, it's not you don't generate power in watts. Well, okay, the readout on the meter I'm using shows my generation in kilowatt hours. But it's not very impressive because I generated 0 0.31 kilowatts or 310 watts. So that's why since my farm is small and I only have two solar panels, which I'm going to be expanding that, but since everything is so small scale, I just I'm breaking it down into watts right now. For today, it rained and was overcast all day long, and I generated 39 watts. So, um, yeah, we didn't generate much at all, but we we generated something. Um, the value of uh, of power that we generated isn't even um, like able to be seen on, you know, by a penny, but it, that's fine. So comparing what we generated against a 1660 Ti, because that's the card we're, we're placing it against is a 24 hour burn at about 90-ish watts on a 1660 Ti. Uh, it costs about 23 cents a day to mine. Um, it made 28 cents today and the profit on that was 5 cents. So our profit's a little bit down, but that's because we, we didn't have any uh, solar to offset that. <laughs> Disco biscuits, 39 watts. That's what I have my vape mod set at. Yeah, we did not generate much solar, but the sun really wasn't out today. So yeah, hopefully we're gonna have better results tomorrow. Um, and yeah, that that's that's pretty much what we're gonna be at. Uh, I'm looking at grabbing another two solar panels. Not not this week, but next week. Um, so hopefully that'll bump up my production numbers also quite a bit more. Um, but I'm hoping I can see more than 300 watts per day at the very least. Colin, so how much was all that solar stuff? Okay, yeah, that's, this is one thing I want to touch on. A lot of people are getting super like hung up on the fact that um, buying solar equipment is not going to pay off my mining equipment. Guys, I did not buy solar equipment to pay off my mining equipment. If I turned all my miners off right now, my solar generation would still be feeding into my house going to my AC or my refrigerator or anything else that's burning. So uh, if all of this is a bust and you know I stop mining, I'm still gonna be using my solar uh, to grid tie into my house. So don't think that like you know it's, it's all a bust. If anything, it's a bonus because I can use that power to then make money through mining. But um, I'm going to do a breakdown on the video that I've been working on where I actually am installing this stuff and showing you guys how I'm hooking it up. And it's going to have a breakdown on the costs. On average, I'm spending $75 per 100 watt poly panel. So I have two panels right now. And um, the 1000 watt grid tie inverter, it's the Amazon inverter. It was like 150 bucks. And then I bought some, uh, I'm running 10 gauge wire. Wasn't, wasn't expensive. And I am using the MC4 connectors. Disco Biscuits, I'm totally jelly of your solar, though, from Sunshine States, Florida, but actually Florida gets more rain than anywhere. Heard that? Not too bad. Disco Biscuits, yep, the flea from Isolation State. Mm. Dennis uh, Entrodmont, I believe if you click on my Amazon affiliate link down below, it'll take you to them. I'm using, uh, they're on Amazon. Whoa, hold on. Okay. Um, let me, let me do this off screen just so I don't leak more than I'd like to today. These are the panels that I started using. They are Mighty Max 100 watt solar panels, uh, 12 volt solar panels. I'm wiring them, them in series to get up to that 24, um, to 40 range and because that's the, the grid tie inverter I'm using 
his uh, 24 to 40 volt or 48 volt, something like that, 24 to 48, that range. But uh, they, they seem to be good. I, mainly, I just bought these because at the time they were Amazon Prime and they would get there the fastest. Um, they're not Amazon Prime anymore. I don't know if I'm going to be staying with this brand, but I'm, I think I may try some mono crystalline panels next instead of poly crystalline and maybe do you know two mono versus two poly and like see see what i actually like because apparently mono crystalline do better in partial sunlight instead of poly dennis uh less expensive than i thought yeah it's getting cheaper for panels now if i would step up to like the 300 watt range you can get some big 300 watt panels that are relatively inexpensive rich solar yep yep well, it's uh, it's it's already getting a little late, ladies and gentlemen. I think we need to get our uh, our giveaway started here. So I would like you, if you want to be entered, we are giving away 0.2 Ethereum courtesy and thanks to the mystery man. So if you'd like to enter, I'll show you how in a second. But I would prefer before you enter, please drop some uh, emojis in the live chat. Say thank you to the mystery man. Colin says 300 water, like 150 on Facebook. Much appreciated there. John found some 212 the other day for 99 each, but they were pickup only. Yeah, there's deals definitely out there to be had. So, um, gotta jump on them. So yeah, drop it, drop some emojis in there. Show some love to the mystery man. Maybe he's out there watching right now. Maybe not. Yeah, there we go. The spider memes. That yeah, thank you, mystery man. All right, and now how we're gonna get entered for tonight, we're gonna use the random comment picker. You're gonna need to go to my channel, Brandon Coin. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, that's actually pretty, oh, you got like that. Um, go to my, my channel, I like my own video. Go to videos, and then click on first day solar mining. This was yesterday's video. As soon as that gets loaded up, then go down to the comment section and type in ETH, and then, you know, 0x blah blah, blah 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 ethereum address and uh hit enter that's how you get entered to win we're going to do the drawing in about five minutes give or take we'll do it at 10 35 p.m eastern standard time so it's 10 28 right now or 10 29 that gives people six minutes to get entered i'm going to drop that link into the live chat right now so you can jump over there bam there it is bam so go over there, get entered up for the chance to win 0.2 Ethereum, which uh, let's check the value on that. ETH to USD. 0.2 Ethereum, that is $26.48. So if you want $26, that could almost buy you a pack of toilet paper. Almost. I don't know how the, the prices are going to be after the launch of TPT tomorrow. So might be a time to hold off on toilet paper purchases right now. We're drinking the dew, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, so go over there and get get entered, guys. You know what I'm saying? Don't be looking at me. Ah, oh man. Old TPT got me wound up today. Toilet paper token. Nub says this is Halloween. This is Halloween. Ah. That's a good song. That's a good movie. My bad. Um, Crypto Mikel, High Tech, Foo Fighter, Nefarious Technology, Batman, The Dude, Mr. Nub, Ed Co. You Going Nowhere. I tried Kuda Miner and it's around $2 a month. Haha. <laughs> Is that how I'm going to profit RX 570? Mm. RX 570 doing $2 a month sounds a bit low there. Let's see. Let's go on to What to Mine. And um, you going nowhere, boy, whattomine.com is an awesome tool if you're looking at graphics cards to buy because you can just, you know, be like, boom, one, five, seventy. You click it to make it red. Then you click calculate. Then you go down here and it'll show you on what platforms. Like right now, mining nice hash Ethereum is a 30 cents a day. So, I mean, since I can't math, we're going to do 30 times 30 cents. That's nine dollars a month. So yeah, you're missing out on a, a majority of your um, your whatchamacallits there. 
Crypto mining tools, two dollars. What's up, Brandon? Uh, thank you, man. Much appreciated. I'm having a good night. We were just talking about some of uh, the uh, the toilet paper token. We were reading the white paper, white paper, uh, and we're also waiting on people to get entered into the 0.2 Ethereum giveaway, courtesy of the Mystery Man. Uh, to get entered, we got another five minutes till we do that. All you got to do is go to where are we at. Boom, this link in the live chat, click on that link and comment your Ethereum address in the bottom of that video. Foo Fighter, can't see your screen, Brandon Coin. Uh, audio, video check, is everybody here? Can y'all hear me, see me? Uh, the Deadwood 11 right now, profits ain't easy. Yeah, it's definitely not. Dennis says, what to mine is the place to go. Yeah, awesome place to go. Brandon Coin, I'm pushing this because it's first come, first serve, free money from the government. It's government loan assistance. Thank you, Nefarious. Uh, you know what? I'm going to click on that right now and check it out. Disaster loan assistance. Eligible entry verification. Okay. Hey, thank you for that. I'm actually, I'm going to look into that because I, I have my own little small company and um, yeah, it's, things are kind of slow right now. Oh, oh, Foo Fighter. My bad. I didn't show my what to mind screen. Yeah, my bad. I was just trying to get numbers for him. Use Claymore 15. There are plenty of tutorials to figure out how to set it up and set your overclocks. Thank you for that, Mike. Very true, Mike. Dennis says, what type of work do you do? I own a erosion control company. So if you, uh, if you check it out, erosion control, and you go to some images, I, I actually don't do a lot of like this stuff. I do a lot of this. Like... Uh, coming out, seed and strawing, doing straw matting. These are called waddle. Oh, y'all can't even see what I'm talking about. My head was covering it up. These are like waddles to control like the flow of water going down through there. But my main business is silt fence. I do tons and tons of silt fence. So on like job sites to contain mud and runoff and water flow, I install plastic fences around job sites. To, to dumb it down. That's cool. It looks interesting. Eh, I mean, I'm going to be honest. It loses its uh, its cool factor after about the first day. So, 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 for example, when you get a phone call and they're like, hey, man, I got some mud in my silt fence and it's about to bust. And you get out there and you see this. It's like, what do you want me to do with this? What? And they're like, yeah, can you just dig that mud out real quick? You know, and don't let any get into the road. They're, you know, everybody's always worried about the road because around here, if you get mud into the road and you have an inspector come by your neighborhood or your house that's under construction, they'll fine you. So they're like, yeah, can you get that mud like away from here real quick? Peyton the nub, you ain't no silt fencer, but that's all I do. That's all I do. Kudo miner's not stable. It put my RX 570 beam coin auto mine and XMR for my CPU. Launcher says $4 per month, and on site it says $14 a month. I don't understand. You going nowhere. I haven't used this Kuna Miner in probably the last two months, so I can't say for what, what's going on. Everything changes. Um, you going nowhere. Give NiceHash a try. That's another easy one-click miner before you have to get started into like doing your own, own stuff. Let's see here. Easy peasy. Oh God, they go nuts on the silt here under salmon spawning regulations. I prefer direct mining over Kudo. Peyton the Nub says, let me show you how to fence, boy. Not crazy about easy miners. I tried three to four dollars a month. Thanks for your help though. You going nowhere? It it it, it sounds really bad when I say your name, but it's it's actually your name. Um, what you're probably gonna be looking to do is is start direct mining. I don't know if uh, I have any recent videos on direct mining, but um, 
probably probably just uh, Google searching how to mine Ethereum uh, or how to direct mine Ethereum is going to be your best start. Uh, that way you can do your overclocks. You shouldn't have to BIOS mod if you're using the latest version of the Claymore miner. Um, yeah, just make sure you overclock and you'll be good to go. Man, sell silt. It's needed for big building. I didn't even know that. Red Panda has some good videos setting up Claymore. Yeah, check it out, definitely. All right, guys, well, I think we're, as everybody entered for the 0 0.2 Ethereum giveaway, let me, uh, we'll close these out. Erosion control, erosion control, what to mine. Has everybody entered? All right, everybody drop an F in the chat for the people who aren't entered. Um, sorry. Uh, good luck, everyone. Good luck, good luck. Let me go into the... Um, I got to go in the spam filter and make sure nobody's comments got caught up in there. Bop, 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 bop. There we go. Pause that. Edit video. Comments. Likely spam. All right, so it caught a couple people today. The, uh, the notable mentions, it caught Zed, it caught Alex, Colin, Journalish, Robert Hawkins, John, Brad, and that introvert YouTuber. It caught all y'all in the spam filter, but no worries. We are here. I approved all y'all's comments. And we have, yeah, we got a bunch of people tonight. So, yeah, let me pull that up on the random comment picker. I guess maybe it's like maybe it's like a special thing. Like you got caught in the spam filter. Woo! You know, like you're I don't know. You know what I'm saying. Alright, so let me get that video, video, video. Da, 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 da. We'll drop that right here. Paste. Get the YouTube comments. We have 41 unique comments. Where's the live chat at? Sorry about that, guys. Let me get back to it. Uh, there we are. Oh, my live chat is, is not quite live at the moment. I wonder what's going on there. All right, so everybody dropping them Fs in the chat. Thanks for saving. Fail, rigged, rigged. It's not rigged. May the non-spammer win. Pay respects. It's only rigged if I don't win. Brad, I like that. I like that ideology right there. All right, so we got 41 comments. Good luck, everybody. We have 42 viewers, so that means one person has not entered. Sorry, man. We'll catch you next time. One, two, three. The winner is. Arcadian Vasorian and he says thank you and here's his Ethereum address. Okay, so everybody drop a big congratulations for old Arcadian Vasorian. By the way, I haven't seen you um, in the chats very much, Arcadian. Uh, I'm gonna send you the Ethereum regardless because you entered, but I would love it if you could like type into the live chat and just be like, just, uh, tell us some yee yees. We need some yee yee yee, you know. And if you need to know how to spell that, it's like Y E E Y E E E E E Y E. You know, Arcadian Vasorian, what's up? There he is! Congratulations, homie! Yeah. What is up? Just rigged. Ah, no, no, no. Let me here. Let me get you that Ethereum, bro. Congratulations for winning. Glad you are are here to enjoy it with us. And we will be doing another one tomorrow night. Yeah, because today's Tuesday, so we're here Monday through Friday, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we got some more Ethereum to give away, all thanks to the Mystery Man donating it to uh, to give back to the community. So he's, he's more, more than gracious. Let me get this sent over to you, Ethereum address right there. Boom. 0 0.2 Ethereum. 
All right, so $26.45 worth of Ethereum or 0 0.20. Uh, network fee is two cents. Let me get this code in here. Where are we at? Where are we at? And your transaction is on the way. Congratulations, Vasorian, uh, or Arcadian Vasorian. May the odds ever be in your favor. And tomorrow night, we got we got another uh, Ethereum giveaway. Oh, Foo Fighter, I forgot to use Pro again. Ah, oh, we paid a network fee. If you had $5,000 to invest during this time, what would you do? Spartan Mining has donated $5. If you have $5,000 to invest during this time, what would you do? Okay. Thank you for the $5, and let's break it down. If I was realistically looking at putting $5,000 into the market, I would want to make sure I owned a full Bitcoin. Obviously, you can't buy a full Bitcoin for $5,000, but I feel like uh, Bitcoin is probably the safest uh, investment in crypto. By the way, this is not financial advice. Don't listen to me because I make all the mistakes. Um, now, if I already had a Bitcoin or a majority of a Bitcoin, or if I was feeling a little bit more risky, I'd probably take $2,500, invest that into Bitcoin, and take the other $2,500 and split it up between a couple coins. Um, maybe Ethereum, Ripple, Litecoin, Bitcoin Satoshi's Vision. I'm, I've never been a big fan of it or Bitcoin Cash. But I feel like these coins jump hard, and I, I definitely want a piece of them because I don't think they're going anywhere, uh, being that both of them are, are heavily invested in. Um, a lot of people are, are, are loving Tezos. I'm invested in Tezos right now, but I don't think it would be on my list for my uh, you know other coins that I'm going to be dumping the rest in. But I, I would still hedge at least 50% of my initial investment in Bitcoin because Bitcoin is the king, and it, we're... If Bitcoin ain't going nowhere, then the rest of them ain't going nowhere. Unknown Crypto says 5K in Doge. Oh my goodness. Cole Edwards super chatted $20. But you didn't say nothing. Well, Cole Edwards, I appreciate the $20. Um... Thank, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You didn't say nothing with it, but I, heck yeah. So Spartan Mining, I hope that answers that fairly decently. We have another couple, you know, some other people in here that have differing opinions. Obviously, an opinion is, is, is one thing. Foo Fighter says he's be, he'd be all in on Zoom stock and a bottle of Jack Daniels. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, Cole Edwards about to be broke. Cole Edwards in, is investing in Brandon Coin right now. <laughs> what do you think about Raven Coin? Raven Coin? Uh, I like Raven Coin a lot. Raven Coin is one of those ones I mined up for a while. I still mine it every now and then. Um, will I invest in it? Uh, 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 uh. See, I'm still I'm stuck in North Carolina, which um, we can't use the U.S. Binance yet. I don't I don't think we can. I don't know. You, we couldn't. Can we use it yet? Yeah, I don't think we can use it. Thirteen states. I think we're we're one of the. We're still one of the states we can't use it. Keeping them positive spirits up. Uh, yeah, I like Ravencoin. I just don't like the fact that I don't have a good exchange that I feel good about that I can keep it on. Logan Post with the $21 says, Yo, dog, let's get hype. Uh, <laughs> thank you for the $21 there, Logan. Um... Much appreciated. We are definitely hype. You know, I'll give you a, I'll give you a flick of the lighter for that. Yeah, twenty one dollars. 
the dude what about day trading are you man enough <laughs> yeah mr the dude i'm i i day traded right into that crash we had you know what a month ago so i i'm man enough i lost the well, I didn't lose because I haven't sold, but I'm locked up into some long-term trades right now. Mark Andre, not comfortable with keeping Raven on Binance. Well, uh, North Carolina users can't use the U.S.-based Binance, and I don't feel comfortable using the over like the old Binance because technically U.S. users are not supposed to use it. It's like a gray area, so that's why I don't want to keep my Raven on there. Take a look at energy. Now it's a, a thousand energy NRG for a masternode. Unknown crypto. We'll definitely uh we'll we'll take a look back at that. But I am nearing the end of my live stream, so uh, I wanted to. I gotta let y'all down. I know I know we we came off of this super high of toilet paper token, and we were reading that white paper. Got people hyped up. I mean, we got Logan and and Cole in here dropping you know twenty dollar bands. Um, yeah, so. We got we got to reel that back in a little bit cuz we don't want people to get out of control. $21 make you holler for sure. In today's news, man catches house on fire on live stream. Ah, you think you got jokes. Throw some bands, no more bands. We're we're ending it. No no more donating, okay? Cole Edwards has super chatted $22 best channel for crypto. All right, now we don't have to lie to people, Cole, because we're we're not the best. You don't have to be the best. I don't know where I'm going with that, but thank you for the twenty-two dollars uh, of uh, USD dollars. Cap Cole is ca <laughs> Cole is Cap Logan Post. Fair enough. The dude, I'm not a man enough. I'm an early adopter. Slightly skeptical. Super high Logan Post. Woo woo. Yeah, twenty-two dollars. We'll get another a couple more lighter flicks in there for the twenty-two dollars. And uh we ain't catching no houses on fire. Hold on, what if I what if I like move it up to the actual the webcam? Oh, it kind of burnt the webcam for a second. <laughs> Alright, guys. It's hot in here. Strong investor. Just have to be legit and fun. <laughs> All right, yeah, we good, we good, guys. Thank you for coming out. Let's end this. This is how it ends. This is how it ends. He sets his on fire. Nah, nah, nah. Just look, look. <laughs> no, this is how I end up with a new webcam. Thanks again, Brandon. Oh, no problem, man. <laughs> man sets webcam on fire more at eleven. Foo Fighter heard that. Appreciate you. Catch you next time. Fire. Yeah, we got that fire. Later, Brandon. Everybody have a good night. We're going to be over on Discord. I got to go take Jenny outside. Of course, it's raining and nasty, so she's going to get her little paws all muddy, and then I got to like wipe her paws off. And But yeah, we'll be, I'll be in Discord. We're going to play some games. We're going to talk, uh, do all that kind of stuff. If we keep donating, will you keep streaming? Negative. Negative. Do not donate anymore. The stream is over. All the donations are appreciated, but the stream's over, so I don't want anybody's donation to go unacknowledged. Because I'm about to end it, like in 10 seconds. All right? Yes. Make sure to drop a thanks for the mystery man. Because uh, without him, there would be no Ethereum to give out. Smash that like button. Later, Brandon. See you tomorrow. Later, Robert. Have a good night. Have a good night. You going nowhere. Logan Post, RIP donations. <laughs> Later, man. Stay safe. 10, 9, 8, Disco Biscuits. Fix my PC. What's wrong with your PC, Cole? Mystery Man rocks. Thanks, Mystery Man. Disco Biscuits won. All right. Logan Post, yo, I'm geeked. Yo, I'm geeked, bruh. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Do we going to... All right, so, with, with like, all this quarantine stuff and going on, since since it's all over, um, well, since the stream's over, technically, you're still alive. Yeah, we're still alive. Anyway, 
the the people that wanted like know about crypto and stuff and like serious they're like bro why do you not take this seriously bro 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 crypto bro and i'm like you can't take it seriously or you'd be dead um but anyway i uh can i see tp i don't have any in here i don't i don't keep it in all the rooms i ain't trying to flex on y'all like that and just have my toilet paper just just stacks on stacks you know what i'm saying it ain't racks on racks that we're worried about anymore is stacks on stacks but anyway um i go i go by food line and people are like in the food line they don't have masks they just have their shirt pulled up you know and i'm and they're walking around like this and i'm like really what is this gonna do other than let you smell your body more you know what i'm saying but dude don't show your wealth i know you you can't be showing your people your stacks of toilet paper Mark says next stream should have a toilet paper pyramid on the dog cage. Oh my goodness. Logan Post, I cough on people to scare them. 100% right now, people are scared of coughs. Food Fighter, masks don't do anything. You get, you guys still have Food Lion. Florida lost Food Lion in the late 90s. 100% we still have Food Lion. 100% dude, Food Lion is where it's at. That's what I'm talking about. Flaunt it if you got it. Well, I mean, oh, hold on. I got, I, you know, I got a little bit of, I got some, some bread I can, I can show y'all right now. Oh, just, just a little. Hold on. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, y'all see that? Look at the pleating. High quality. You know what I'm saying? That can soak up some stuff right there. If you want free test sneeze on someone rich or famous, noted, noted. Uh, people getting arrested for coughing on others. Is that really true? Logan says, if you want some mountain frost, go to Food Lion. No, it's not mountain frost, dog. It's mountain lion. It is mountain lion. It's knockoff Mountain Dew. Uh, I got bread on sale and it's my TP backup. What? Are you going to wipe your bum with some bread, dude? Very impressive. I know, Disco Biscuits. You can cut that into thirds. Cole, spit on vegetables. Now, I'm pretty sure if you spit on vegetables, you're going to jail. Joe Diffle? What? Hold on. What's going on right here? Joe Diffle? Joe, Joe Diffie. Grammy winning country music star dies at 61. How did he die? Complications related to human malware. Whoa. Shit. Okay, my bad. I don't mean to. No, no disrespect there. Um, yeah, the stuff got him. That That sucks. By the way, his middle name is Logan. Yeah, F in the chat, guys. Good man. All right, well, on that, we're, we're probably going to call it a night. We'll be over on Discord. Come join us. He did that Welcome to the Earth Third Rock from Sun song. Pop. Yeah. Foo Fighter rigged. Everything is rigged with you. It was fun. All right, we'll check you out 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Friday. See you tomorrow night, guys. Adios. Throw up them horns. Keep it rocking. You know what I'm saying. Adios. Come on. Come on. There you go. Alright. Alright, hold on, hold on. Let me get you up here. Let me get you up here. You wanna say bye to everybody? There we go. There we go. Okay. Oh my goodness. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, your legs are all in the way, Jenny. Ow. Ugh. Okay, okay. Act normal. Act normal. Oh no, no. Oh no, the kisses. Pretzel time, absolutely. She's gonna get some pretzels.
gosh, your breath stinks. What you been doing? Good dog, yeah. What you been doing, girl? Okay, okay. Come on, hey, come on here, look. Say bye. No, 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 no more kisses. Say bye. Say bye. <laughs> okay, she don't want to say bye, guys. <laughs> puppy, puppy love puppers make everything better, hundred percent. This is bat, bat cat and dog form. This is bat dog. Well, just keep streaming them. <laughs> My bad. The stream's over. I'm sorry, guys. I, I haven't, end, I haven't clicked that end button. What are we at? Uh, I don't know. Oh, we're, we just crossed over the hour mark. This is a solid hour-long stream. We haven't had hour-long streams back since, like, like 28, early 2018. Like, back when we were like, all right, we're going to stream and talk about crypto for, like, two hours. You know what I'm saying? Hour stream, we lit. Got that food storage on lockdown, 100%. Look at, okay. Everybody's like, how does your floor get like all that stuff on it? Peep her right now, what she's doing. She'll sit there, then she'll roll right there. Roll. Psh, psh, psh. Hair. Just hair. <laughs> Everywhere. RIP the floor, 100%. I want to rip all this carpet up. And downstairs, I ripped up all my carpet and put down like some fake hardwood. I want to do that in here. And also that way I can like roll my chair around easier because like rolling chair around on the carpet, not great. I even bought one of those plastic mats to put underneath my chair. But then in reality, I guess maybe I'm too heavy because like the plastic mat where this, where the chair, where the chair sits, it just kind of like dimples in. And like, so like your chair is like kind of like stuck in these little valleys, you know what I'm saying? Like, how's that even work? Fake hardwood looks good and easily replaceable. 100% yes, it is. Uh, definitely easy to put up and take down. How about that new table? Dude, new tables on fleek. Jenny has the clout. Dude, Jen Jenny has more clout than me, 100%. She's got the coat too. Need the plastic floor chair covers? I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I need those or not. All right, guys. What are you doing, Jenny? Okay, look, she was in my lap for like five seconds. I don't know. Oh, let me rake up the fur. I think it's because it's getting close to the end of uh, the end of winter. That, that came off of her for being in my lap for five seconds. I don't even know how she has hair on her body anymore. Bok gang, bok boys in the house. Unknown crypto, so that's how my floor would look if my dog was black. I got an Eskimo Husky mix. Oh, nice. Eskimo Husky. Huskies are always awesome. So you got like white hair everywhere. Them Nikes though. Hey, throw some respect on those Nikes. 24-hour live stream, Mark Andre. You know what? If I was considered unessential and um, we we would have to have like... Whoa. Whoa. Are you okay? What happened? You good? Okay. I feel like coughed or something. Um, yeah, I am essential, so I got to go to work. Like tomorrow, I actually have work. But... Um, I, we should definitely plan out like a 24 hour live stream need a couple people here with me and then have like some stretch goals for donations like you know for every i don't know five dollars like i do it like chug a beer or something i might have to do it more than that because we might get toasty um mark andre you yourself savage and red panda should take eight hour shifts that, that'd be cool i think i'd be down for that yeah well, anyway, I, I got to talk to them. Got to go hang out in the Discord and do important things like uh, play video games and watch YouTube. We'll see you guys tomorrow. If you want to come and do important things with me, Discord link is down below in the description. 
Uh, I'm not going to be in the text chat every area. I'm going to be in the voice chat. Make sure you got a mic and a headset ready to go because it's always lit in there. All right, guys. Later. Have a good night. Peace. Jenny? Jenny, come on. You got hair on your hair.